Let's recall the sense of joy and pride felt by all of us when Chandrayaan 3's Vikram lander successfully landed on the moon's south polar region. Do you remember where you were when you heard the news? The historic day was August 23, 2023. And to recognize this legacy, India commemorated its first National Space Day on August 23, 2024. This milestone made India the fourth nation to successfully land on the moon and the first to reach its southern polar region. It serves as a testament to India's remarkable achievements in space exploration, as well as a tribute to the countless individuals who have contributed to the nation's cosmic endeavours. The inaugural National Space Day is centred around the theme Touching Lives While Touching the Moon, India's Space Saga, reflecting the country's remarkable space exploration journey and its societal benefits. As we commemorate this special day, Let's embark on a journey through time, tracing India's space odyssey from its humble beginnings to its ambitious future plans. At the heart of India's space program lies the Indian Space Research Organization. But when was ISRO established and what role does it play? Established in 1969, ISRO operates under the Department of Space and reports directly to the Prime Minister. ISRO has been the driving force behind India's space achievements. But how has it managed to do this? The answer would be to embody the spirit of innovation and cost-effectiveness that has come to characterize India's approach to space. Now let's travel back in time. Can you picture the scene? Indian scientists transporting rocket parts by bicycle and bullock carts, their makeshift mission control room housed in a converted church. Sounds almost unbelievable, doesn't it? Yet, this was the reality of India's space program in the early 1960s. It was from these beginnings that India's space dream took flight, a testimony to the ingenuity and determination that would come to define the nation's approach to space exploration. However, the pivotal moment arrived on November 21, 1963, when India conducted its first rocket launch using a US Nike Apache sounding rocket from Thumba near Thiruvananthapuram. This 17 kg rocket reaching an altitude of 207 km with a 30 kg payload marked the starting point of India's space journey. The Nike Apache, also known as Argo V 13, was a two stage sounding rocket developed by Aerolab later Atlantic Research, for use by the United States, Air Force and NASA. Its deployment in India underscored the international collaboration that often characterizes early space programs. The following two decades witnessed India achieving several significant milestones, each one building upon the last and laying the groundwork for future successes. Can you guess some of these achievements? In 1975, India launched Aryabhat. It is the first satellite designed and built entirely within the country, although it was launched from Russia. But what do you think this meant for India's scientific community? This achievement was followed by the launch of Bhaskar-1 in 1979, India's first remote sensing satellite. It provided valuable data on hydrology, forest and oceanography. A major breakthrough came in 1980 with the successful launch of the SLV-3. India's first satellite launch vehicle. This breakthrough, the result of a decade of hard work led by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, established India as a self-reliant nation capable of launching its satellites. The crowning moment of this era arrived in 1984 when Rakesh Sharma became the first Indian astronaut in space, famously describing India from orbit as Sare Jahan Se Achha, that means better than the entire world. The 1990s marked a significant era for ISRO with the development of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle or PSLV. Introduced in 1993, the PSLV quickly became the workhorse of India's space program, demonstrating remarkable reliability and versatility. The turn of the millennium saw ISRO expanding its capabilities further. In 2001, the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle or GSLV was successfully launched, enhancing India's ability to place heavier satellites into orbit. The following years witnessed a series of successful missions, including the launch of specialized satellites like Kalpana-1 2002, EduSat 2004 and Katosat series 2005-2007 for various applications. 
A watershed moment came in 2008 with the launch of Chandrayaan-1, India's first lunar probe. This mission not only placed India in an elite group of nations to reach the moon, but also made significant scientific discoveries, including the detection of water molecules on the lunar surface. The past decade has seen India's space program reach new heights, with several groundbreaking missions that have captured the world's attention. In the year 2014, India's Mars Orbital Mission Mangalyaan made history by reaching Mars orbit on its first attempt, joining an elite club of nations to achieve this feat. What's more, the mission was completed at a fraction of the cost of similar missions by other space agencies, showcasing India's ability to achieve more for less in space exploration. This success was followed by the launch of Astrosat in 2015, India's first dedicated multi-wavelength space observatory, which continues to provide valuable data for understanding the universe. In the years that followed, ISRO set world records for satellite launches, demonstrating its growing capabilities in satellite technology and launch services. In 2017, ISRO set a world record by launching 104 satellites in a single mission, showcasing its precision and efficiency in satellite deployment. The culmination of this stellar decade came with the Chandrayaan missions. While Chandrayaan 2's attempt at a soft landing on the moon's south pole in 2019 was unsuccessful, it paved the way for Chandrayaan 3's triumphant landing in the same region on August 23, 2023. This achievement opens up new possibilities for lunar exploration in the southern polar region of the moon for India. Chandrayaan 3 achieved several significant milestones, including the successful operation of the Pragyan rover, which conducted an in-situ chemical analysis of the lunar surface. The mission also demonstrated a hop experiment, moving the lander to a new location on the lunar surface, a first for any lunar mission. India's ambitions extend beyond the moon, reaching towards our nearest star. Launched on December 2, 2023, the Aditya L1 mission represents India's first foray into solar observation from space. Having reached its destination at the Lagrange point on July 2, 2024, Aditya L1 is now providing valuable data on solar dynamics and space weather, contributing to our understanding of the Sun and its effect on Earth. In recent years, India has embarked on a significant transformation of its space sector opening up opportunities for private players and fostering a vibrant space ecosystem. The transformation began with the establishment of Antrix Corporation in 1992, ISRO's commercial arm, which has played a crucial role in promoting India's space products and services in the global market. The creation of the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Centre or InSpace in 2020 marked a pivotal moment in this transformation. InSpace acts as a single window agency for promoting, authorizing and supervising private sector space activities. The government has also taken bold steps to encourage foreign investment in the space sector. On February 21, 2024, India opened the door to 100% foreign direct investments in various segments of the space industry, including satellite manufacturing, operations and launch vehicles. This new landscape has led to emergence of several promising space startups. Companies like Agnikul Cosmos and Skyroot Aerospace are developing their launch vehicles, while others focus on satellite technology, space applications and downstream services. On March 21, 2024, Agnikul Cosmos successfully launched its Sorted-01 vehicle or SORTED-01 vehicle from Sri Harikota, marking the first launch of a semi-cryogenic engine-powered vehicle by a private company in India. This milestone demonstrates the growing capabilities of India's private space sector. More than just rockets and satellites, India's space program has come a long way from its humble beginnings, standing today as a proof of the country's scientific and technological prowess. But its impact goes far beyond the field of space exploration. The program has contributed to practical applications in areas such as communication, weather forecasting and disaster management, touching the lives of the millions of Indians every day. Moreover, India's cost-effective approach to space exploration has made it an attractive partner for international collaboration as exemplified by the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar or NISAR mission, set to launch in 2024. This joint project aims to study Earth's ecosystem, ice masses 
and natural hazards, establishing the country as a key player in the global space economy. The success of India's space program serves as an inspiration, not just to Indian, but to developing nations around the world, showcasing that with determination and ingenuity, the stars are within reach. As we celebrate National Space Day, India's space program is poised for even greater achievements. The Gaganyaan mission, slated for 2024-2026, aims to send Indian astronauts to low Earth orbit, marking India's entry into human space flight. Four astronauts, Group Captain Prashant Balakrishnan Nair, Group Captain Ajit Krishnan, Group Captain Angad Pratap, and Wing Commander Shubhanshu Shukla are currently undergoing rigorous training for this historic mission. Looking further ahead, India has plans for missions to Venus, a return to Mars, further lunar exploration and even a space station. Each of these ambitious projects represents not just a scientific endeavour, but a step forward in India's journey as a space-faring nation. ISRO is also developing the Next Generation Launch Vehicle or NGLV to enhance India's heavy lift capabilities crucial for future ambitious missions. Meanwhile, the commercialization of technologies like the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle is underway with a private consortium led by Larsen and Tubro and Hindustan Aeronauticals Limited taking charge of its production. As we celebrate National Space Day, we honor the visionaries who led the foundation for India's space program. The dedicated scientists and engineers who continue to push the boundaries of what's possible and the spirit of innovation that has characterized India's approach to space exploration. As we gaze at the stars tonight, let's remember that for India, space is not just a destination. It's a journey of discovery, innovation and inspiration. The sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. With the combined efforts of ISRO, private enterprises and international collaborations, India is poised to play an increasingly significant role in shaping the future of space exploration and utilization. The first National Space Day marks not just a celebration of past achievements, but a launching pad for even greater aspirations in the cosmic frontier.